Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone has had a relatively stress-free week and, a, and hopefully we'll have a good Christmas break. As for this presentation, let's talk about censorship. My name is Alex Brinkhorst, and let's get started. Censorship is defined as the government's prior restriction to limitation or filtering of information or ideas in speech and various forms of mass media, such as newspapers and broadcasting and other electronic media most recently including the internet. This is the definition provided by the Encyclopedia of Journalism. Censorship overall is a very common theme in politics and journalism, but also may affect you in ways that you may not have directly realized. The FCC filter on obscene material is one of them. When you turn to WRFL, the University of Kentucky radio station, which I'm proud to call myself part of, you normally will hear content that's rated PG. And even if you turn in, tune in during Safe Harbor, you won't hear obscene material. The FCC's censorship is what keeps that kind of material at bay. That's why you don't hear any songs from bands such as White House. That's because their songs can be considered pretty offensive and would fall under the FCC's definition of obscene. However, that part of censorship is relatively tame. Censorship about government and from the government is where we start to enter a morally gray area. Back in 1971, the Pentagon Papers were classified documents from the Pentagon that were published by Time magazine. In response, the government attempted to plug the leaks, but was ultimately struck down by the Supreme Court in a, in a vote. These issues are being mirrored today in the current political atmosphere and is pretty scary. Personally, I don't believe anyone on any side should support a government-based censorship of this nature. That's one of the reasons we have a system where people can disagree without being persecuted by the government itself. That helps with the spreading of freedom of ideas. As you can see here, this is what is known as the Freedom of Press Index, a site provided by Journalists Without Borders. It currently ranks each country on a scale of how free their media is. The United States is in the 43rd place. While that seems really bad, keep in mind North Korea is currently in last place in 180. The current first place contender is Norway, followed by Sweden. Overall, in short, we should consider censorship to be a very big issue when not dealing with um, keeping insensitive materials at bay. However, this does not mean that we should take censorship for granted and should attempt to always be open to accepting new material. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope everyone has a great break, and it was great to be in class with all of you. Thanks!